Hello, and welcome to Musher's Tales. Beautiful Sunday morning, quite warm. Uh, quite warm, it's not warm, it's freaking hot. So uh, we got the freighter canoe on the pickup, and uh, we're gonna go for a little ride. We're gonna bring the brown dogs, swat out a few mosquitoes, have a picnic, have a lunch. No beach where we're going. Gonna kind of look around to see if there's a campsite somewhere. Uh, what we're, where we're going is on the closest trap line, so uh, I say we'll drive maybe uh, uh, 50, let's say we'll drive 20 minutes, 10 minutes of asphalt, 10 minutes of dirt road, and then uh, we're on the water. So uh, we'll see you then. This is so uh, the dogs always have lots of airflow. It won't get too hot. We're here, we're on the water. Got the water warm up a bit. Portage Trail? No, but I think it's there. Where I see the bird. 
could be right in front of us right here too. Looking, we're looking for Portage Trail, which is which is usually where we park. It's always hard to find. Not too much portaging going on. I think it's right in front of us. I think it's right here. Find it. We're at the end of the lake. The weather uh, says thunderstorm to me. Right here. Here we go. Okay, we're here. Here we go. Got to clear that water, Chris. Yeah. So, uh, lunchtime. Good sandwiches. You can see the sandwich. There you go. I'll do it like this. There you go. The uh, the water is high. Usually we have a uh, we have a little bit of a beach here. So nice and warm though, but uh, we actually have to sit in the canoe. Our chairs are going to be useless. If we sit in our chairs, our chairs will be underwater. They will just sit in the ground. So we've got a loose right there. Okay, cop. Go. Straight. Straight. Sound straight. Young buck loose. I think I got one real too. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. That's a fish. So I'm sitting here and the dog starts growling, so I look behind me and I see this big brown thing. I'm going, is that a big rock? Did a tree fall down? And then it's like, holy crap, that was a moose. He was close. Yeah, hey boy, was he close? He was what? 50 feet? Yeah. Or 100 feet? No, that. I think your 50 feet is pretty well laid. Oh. He ain't far. There you go. You almost bubble in there. Yeah, because right here, like it or not, if he was coming out of us, in this water, we were getting away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no? No. No. I was glad to have the dog, because the dog could have distracted him. <laughs> Oh, well, then we could have gotten away. 
Because he was, there's no way in this water, it's too shallow for too long. Wow. So yeah, that's cool. Bit of excitement on the trap line. So that was a close encounter of the moose kind. Pretty surprising considering that the wind is going from us to him. There's no way he couldn't smell us. Like, okay, and uh, but I'm guessing he was going on the side. He came out of the woods to get out of the flies, and he was looking for the portage trail like we were. So uh, since we're parked right out the entrance of the trail, that's where he was coming. And usually I'd put a flag here years ago for the portage trail, but it was underwater. The branch fell, so. Here we go, it's back here again, so uh, it'll indicate the trail for us and for the moose next time he swings by. Still licking the molasses cookie out of my mouth. Very good dessert. Once again, having a dog uh, was a good thing because uh, the growling of the dog is what gave it away. Because we would, if we were sitting here quietly, uh, we would have seen that moose when it was like 10 or 15 feet away. As it was, it was we were definitely closer than uh, I like to get unless I'm hunting. Because uh, there's shallow water out here for, uh, I don't know, like 50 feet or something. That thing would have been honest in the blink of an eye if you would have been in any kind of a, a cantankerous mood. Which usually they aren't. Happens in the fall. I know, uh, I know a few people have been... Uh, had close close encounters. My dad actually spent a, a good part of a day up a tree. Excuse me, when he was fly fishing once. So you you hear about it once in a while. Uh, it's usually uh, in the late fall, or you know the end of fishing season just before. Uh, let's say it's early September, late I shouldn't say late fall. I should say September, when uh, they're they're all a little crazy because the ruts are starting, and especially with the young bull. You know, once they're first ruts and they're really not into what the uh, the older ones aren't so crazy because, like it or not, when they get crazy, they get shot and they die, so they're weeded out of the gene pool. So it's the young ones. Stay. 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 Oh, lightning. Really? Yeah. Well, it will be, worst goes the worst, we'll just hunker in the trees. Wait a minute. Good girl, come here, come here. Come on. Good hug. Bring that here. Kick, yes sir. Alright, give, 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 give. Give, good hug. Here, Murph, come on. Come on. Good dog. Bring that here. Good dog. Take. Come here. You got a horse fly in your nose, do you? Stay. There you go. No more horse fly. Good dog. So given the thunder and the lightning there, we'll just uh, won't send the dogs out right away. We'll wait for a bit. We've got three loons beside us.
And I'm talking loud because I still have my earmuffs on. Now, is it going to pass by just being windy? Or are we going to be in the middle of a storm? One of the two. I'm standing in the water now, but it's not time to head back towards shore. We'll wait a bit. Some people fishing over there. The uh, good thing is, is that the uh, the wind's blowing away from us. I mean, that that's what's coming on to us, so I think we'll be fine. Here's our loons. Well, it gets colder when you're here. <laughs> I'm glad it's blowing away. Good pop. Do 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 do. Hey, don't scratch me now. Good, good dog. Usually Quinn doesn't leave us alone when we're swimming. It's about the same temperature as it was uh, when we were camping. Nothing like floating in a life jacket. So it looks like there might be a little break in the weather there with uh, maybe more garbage on the way. So uh, we might make a run for it and head back to the truck. Just in case. We've had our picnic, had a little swim, had the dogs swim a bit, and they already swam today before we came here. We had our moose encounter, saw our loons, so it's been a nice little loading. Making a run for it, it's starting to rain, but we're uh, hopefully leaving the rain behind us and not going towards it.
little bit colder now. Hopefully I filmed it. So uh, yeah, that'd be three boosts today. That kind of a day. That's rare. So uh, I think that's enough for excitement for today. So thanks for watching. Till the next time.